poppin' pumpkins. Hey. Hey, mother. Yeah. Hey, mother. Yeah. The fuck you been at home? Oh. That's abrasive. I've been home. I've been at work. I've been kind of in the gym even though I know my fat ass looks like a fucking football player in this jacket. Don't ask me why I put this shit on. I don't, I don't fucking know. But it's on and I ain't taking it off, nigga. Shout out to Broad Shoulders. <laughs> so, clearly, mother ain't been on the scene in a motherfucking minute. Really, I really have just been kind of doing everything. And I miss you guys. And I wanted to make a video. And I've been wanting to make videos for a while. But I've just like been too busy and I tried to want to give y'all like a decent looking face and then I didn't have enough time to do the face and set the camera up and I have a new camera and she is just so sexy. So I'm working on how to work the new camera and make sexier things happen with the new camera. So here's the deal. It's been a minute since you saw me, right? And I have to be honest about some things. The last video or a few videos something like that that I made sucked you know they sucked I know they sucked they sucked and I'm going to tell you why they sucked I don't do hair product reviews I've said this before this is nothing new this isn't something that I you know was like oh no I could flip and do it I gave it a go I suck at it what I do do really well is rant yes I rant famously, but actually reviewing a hair product, dead ass, that is actually pretty boring. I mean, just talking about a hair product and that's it is fucking, it's boring. It's boring boots, all right? Let's keep it real. You have to add some type of flavor to the shit. You gotta put some pepper on it, some Old Bay, or some Sassoon on it. Because other than that, it's boring. It's fucking boring. It all sounds the same. I know that it, it does for me. That just ain't something I have a passion or I can put a flair on. So I gave it a go. I was blessed with the opportunity to talk about some. Some of y'all were actually interested to hear about the shit. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure most of you were fucking bored. I was, and I apologize for that. You know, you should either put your best foot forward or just stand and fuck still. Now granted, I did what I could do. I don't do that well, and that's the truth. Some of y'all don't do it well either. But you keep on making these goddamn videos, don't you? But since we're gonna talk about some hair products real, real, real quick, let me get into it. Sent me the October box. Y'all remember I did an unboxing, big, pretty pink box type shit. So, my namesake, Naja, over at Curl Collection. You'll find a link somewhere to her shit, somewhere in this shit. And in it was the Curls line of, it's like three products. Every last one of them products were wonderful. No shade. Every last one of those products were great. I love this. What I am concerned about is I was told that this um, line that we got was the professional line. So you can't buy it in stores. So I don't know if that means I can get it on the interwebs or what. But it, honey, this whipped cream right here, we good friends. Yeah, I remember this, the Jojoba Minoy Eden's Body Works line, and the oil, and the hair milk, and the conditioner, and then there's the deep conditioner also. Fucking sucks. Sucks, okay? There's no reason that every product in your line should make my hair feel dry. Every product. This right here, they might as well call this setting lotion, not milk. The shit make my motherfucking hair so hard. If I put my hair in a ponytail and use a little bit of gel, and um, some of this, girl, I'm good. I could be dancing with the stars. My hair will never move. It's sad. It made me sad because I really was excited for this. And I really thought it was going to be great. And people were talking all these wonderful things, not in particularly about the Jojoba line, but about, you know, their products. No, no, nigga, no. Even the oil. How do you have an oil? Look, OK, it's a spray, right? It's just a spray. It's a spray bottle. Watch this. Did you catch what just happened? It's a stream. So you gotta spray it in your hand and then put it in your hair, which I don't wanna do. Goddamn, now I gotta wash my hands. Hold on. That line, nah, y'all could y'all need to go back to the drum board with that shit. Every bit of it, the conditioner, all of it. Sorry about it. All right, I'm back and I'm dropped. So what have I been doing since I haven't been here? Been trying to take my big ass to the gym, 
trying to roam the world. I'm plotting and scheming. I have a lot going on this year. I have this fantastically sexy camera, which I am trying to figure out how to work and perfect so I can do other fantastic things for you guys on YouTube. I miss y'all. I miss y'all a lot. I do watch YouTube videos. I still am watching y'all. Everybody. Every, everybody. Some of y'all are still messy as fuck. I, and I watch y'all too. <laughs> Shit is funny. Speaking of YouTube people. So we are, I'm just gonna confess now that I have a secret homo crush on Wesley from A Connection TV. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to say it. Yeah, if you don't know who he is, you've been slacking on some shit. Y'all need to see this man. He is all types of yummy. I, I really feel so. He has also has an excellent channel. Been watching him. He's been putting up great stuff. What else has been happening in my life? Monkey says hello. She's giving me the stink eye right now. What has happened since the last time I made a video? Beyonce dropped the album. Let me tell y'all something. Now I got something to talk about. If I gotta hear another ugly bitch talking about how pretty hurts, I'm slamming somebody in the fucking mouth. Like, of course it hurts, bitch, you ugly. If I was ugly, pretty bitches would hurt my fucking feelings too. I'm tired of you, all of you. Pretty hurts. Perfection is a disease of a nation. You ain't gotta be perfect. Just be fucking tolerable in the face. And some of y'all ain't, and you singing this song, like you really afflicted by being pretty by the qualms of, of, of putting an effort into being attractive. Y'all also the same bitches that be waking up, I woke up like this, flawless. What? How? You don't get the fuck back in bed? Beyonce, I just want you to know, you done started a fucking movement of ugly bitches proclaiming themselves in unnecessary beauty. I'm, I'm just saying. And I know you're gonna be like, that was shallow, you sound conceited, you sound cocky. Do I know that I'm attractive? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't wake up singing flawless or talking about how pretty hurts. I understand pretty girl problems. I understand them well. But I be damned. I be damned if I gotta hear another unfortunate in the face looking broad talk about how she woke up like this flawless. What else has happened since I last made a video? My camera shut off. I don't know what the last thing it said. So we're gonna give it a go because shit happens in my life in 15 second increments. So when I'm not here on YouTube and I plan to be on YouTube more often and, and making more videos because I have sexy things happening and great things are going on this year and I wanna fill you all in, you can find me on Twitter occasionally. I'm not even gonna front, I don't tweet that often. When I do, it's magical because it might be a fucking rant and you should be a part of it. If you're not, you're gonna miss some shit. Um, Instagram. Instagram, I actually post there, you know, fairly regularly. I still don't Facebook. I'm not going to. Do not ask. Or you could reach me here. And I'm trying to work out the new fucking YouTube because they got all this Google Plus bullshit going on that I don't, I don't understand. I don't really know. Help a bitch. Monkey still needs child support to anybody who wants to come get her. Shout out to my, 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 my sister from another mister, Roni, a.k.a. Love Racing. Go check my girl out. I love you, girl. I miss you. I can't wait to see you again. I need to get down to New Orleans or New Orleans or New Orleans, Louisiana. I want to go. All right. My hands are super dry now because I washed them to get this fucking bullshit off my hands. So I'm gonna put some lotion on and take this hot ass football jacket off my fat ass and go to the gym. Oh, if you have any questions, somebody asked me if I was gonna do a Q&A and I hadn't thought about it. Nobody wants to ever ask me anything. I don't, <laughs> I'm pretty much an open book like that. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Oh, oh, I know what I wanted to say. So some of you knew, some of you remember I hope you remember I had like this series that I was starting called the Midnight Blue and then I took it down and I'm gonna tell y'all I took it down because I was like my dad watches this shit like what my dad watches hi Ed my dad watches my channel and I was like I don't know if I want my father to hear this mind you I'm almost 40 fucking years old but there are certain things that 
daddy's little girl always wants to be daddy's little girl and then i thought about it like we well, grown as fuck and people actually had a really positive review so i'm gonna ask again if you guys want me to put those videos back up and start that series back up again those of you wondering who do not know the midnight blue series was basically us talking about sex different aspects of sex and sexuality if you want to discuss it let me know in the comments i really want to hear from you about that um if i don't hear about it we won't put them back up they were pretty whoo, but let me know i'll get to working on that and then we'll get some material up for that your questions your comments your suggestions are always welcomed i'm trying to get back into the swing of things i am an asshole happy fucking new year i did this whole video and never said that that is shady happy new year happy somebody come to my hair mel mel sheree um i'm calling you out come do this if I go get my hair done by Mel Sheree, if, she, if I let her straighten my hair, does it count as getting it done by the Dominicans? Ah! <laughs> that was stupid as fuck. I'm sorry. Those of y'all that are in New York, that is, that is like one of the phrases used. We don't say what salon we go to. We say the ethnicity of the people who did it. It's really fucking backwards. Like you'd be like, oh, there were actual shops in New York called the Dominican hair shop. Or if you get your hair braided, you got it done by the Africans. What part of Africa? Could it vary. But you got it done by the Africans. It's fucked up. I know. That's weird. We don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Doesn't even matter. All right. We're going to get out of here because I'm, I'm starting to fucking sweat in this hot ass jacket thing. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You stink. She stinks. Bye-bye. I stink. Mommy, give me back. Alright, bye guys. Monkey's being a punk.